Here we go. Um, news obviously confirmed by Richard Romano that um, Joachim Mendelssohn has now signed for Crystal Palace. Um, absolutely excited news about this one. Um, centre back who um, his parent club obviously was Olympic Lyonnais. Has um, was on loan last season to Fulham and is now signing for us on a five-year deal. Um, absolutely fantastic news. Um, regarding the fee, there's been obviously different rumours around, banded around, hearing 13 million euros, which obviously will rise. Um, some said 16, some said 20 million euros. Um, but there is, what is clear is there are add-ons as well. So, um, I'm, I'm so excited about this signing. Um, Patrick Vieira had come out and said that he would like to play a 4-3-3, three, three, where he can also um, convert it to a 3-4-3 three, three as well. So it's, it's good that we're getting the defenders in so that if the, the changes need to be made in, for, in formational style, um, we're not scrambling around looking for um, players to, to fit in that, that mode. Um, so, no, absolutely exciting news. Um, obviously, this is coincided with the, the couple of signs we've made already, including my game, defence as well. Uh, which is so key because, like I've said in the past, we've, we've lost a lot of experience in, in losing um, Cahill and Dan, uh, which obviously really kind of just leaves us with Tomkins and Kelly, really. Um, so it's it's really, really good that we're, we're really addressing the defensive areas. And, and on top of that, it, there's there's a noise going around that we're still looking to get Kabak in as well. So I'm um, oh, really excited about this deciding. Anderson, who obviously, like I said, was on loan at Fulham last year. Um, he was a rock. He was a colossal colossal in the defence. Um, Fulham went for a phase where they just weren't getting beaten. They were laying last-ditch tackles at times. Um, but he can also bring that calming influence, um, as well as being a leader. Um, from what you can see, he, he can carry the ball forward. He break, wants to break the lines with his passes. He can also switch play. Um, so very, very comfortable on the ball. Um, the Dane, as I said, is a leader. And if we're going to have him alongside um, Amart Gay, that is going to be absolutely crucial. You know, having that um, leading figure next to, obviously, the inexperienced Gay. And I can feel that they can really complement each other. So, um, no, exciting times for the club. And um, obviously, we're going to really welcome the Dane um, to SE25 and really, really good signing by Patrick Vieira. And once again, another signal of intent by the club so no really 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 good news there um which obviously then throws Cheku Kayuto hopefully back into midfield however there's obviously been there's been reports that um Trabs on sport from Turkey they're interested in getting him in um looking at four million pounds um and since that those transfer tra rumors have come have surfaced um we've offered him a a, a new deal with um reduced terms so it, we just have to kind of wait and see uh, the decision that um, Coyote makes. Um, it would be a shame to lose him. I mean, like I said, he did very well in centre-back, but he, he's clearly a centre-midfielder, you know, and um, I think he could be that solid base um, in front of the, the back line, and it will mean that we wouldn't necessarily have to go out and fork out um, for another, midf another de defensive midfielder. However, we are light in that midfield area, so it would be great to get another midfielder in, preferably on loan, and hopefully use whatever money is left to get, get in the centre forward. Um, as we said, uh, um, Odson Edouard, or Edouard will be the perfect uh, forward, I believe, for, for our club. And obviously there's there's other clubs that are interested in him. But I believe obviously with Celtic being in the qualifiers for Europe, it, it might be a case where once that's decided, um, he will make his decision as to where he may go. And finally, um, just news on the Crystal Palace women. They they won their, their game against Crawley Wasps, uh, 2-0. So um, after the, the amazing, <laughs> they've had an amazing window. Um, Dean Devaport's obviously um, bringing the players in thick and fast. And um, it's good to see that they've they've got their preseason on the way um, with a 2-0 win. So, yeah, good good news all around for the club. Um, that leads us on to tomorrow where we've got Charlton at home. And... I'll be back. I'll be back with a match reaction and call-in show. So it'd be great to speak to as many Palace fans as possible. And if you, even if you don't support Palace, come in and talk about what you think about our club. Um, so, yeah, that'll be tomorrow about 8.30, 9pm. Yeah, tune in. Tune in and come and have your say, as per usual. The, my shows are always 
open for call-ins and always open for people to have their say whenever it's a live show. So yeah, this is Eagle Eyed Football. Um, like, share, subscribe, please. Smash that like button, please. It really, really helps, you know, with, with the um, algorithms. Um, share, because I, I just want to, I just want to build a massive Palace community. So share, share, share. And like I said, if I, I want to speak to as many Palace fans, wherever you are across the world, that, that's my aim to be able to speak to you guys, because we family, we are one red and blue army and we are one family. So yeah, no, thanks, thanks for this and thanks for your time. And once again, your Kim Anderson has signed for Crystal Palace. Eagle eyed out.